Welcome back to our math series. Today we're uncovering the secrets of literal equations. What are they? Well, let's find out. A literal equation is an equation that has two or more variables. Pretty easy, right? So this equation, 2y plus 5x equals 6, is a literal equation because it has two variables, y and x. The goal today is to rewrite this literal equation here to solve for y. Let's break down this equation and figure out how to solve for y one step at a time. We need to isolate the 2y, so the first step here is to use the subtraction property of equality to subtract 5x on both sides of the equation. Now we can simplify. On the left side, the 5x's cancel each other out, leaving the 2y. On the right side, we just bring down the 6 minus 5x. The next step is to use the division property of equality to isolate just the y. So we will divide each side of the equation by 2. We can simplify again. Starting on the left, the 2's will cancel each other out, leaving just the y. And now, let's take a closer look at the right side. Many people find simplifying this very confusing. So I'm going to make it a little more visual by rewriting the division like this. The reason I did this is to show you that when I divide it by 2 on the left side to isolate the y, each term on the right side needs to be divided by 2 as well. So now I can divide 6 by 2 to get 3, and this next term I can just leave it as the fraction negative 5 over 2x. I know that 5 over 2 is an improper fraction, but I don't need to simplify it to a mixed number here. And that's it. We're done. Solving for y, y equals 3 minus 5 over 2x. Now let's look at this formula for finding the circumference of a circle. Remember, circumference is the distance around the outside of the circle, or the perimeter of the circle. Circumference, or c, equals 2 times pi times the radius r. Now let's say that we know the circumference, or c, and we're trying to find the radius r. So we need to solve for r. First, I will use the division property of equality to isolate the r, and I will divide each side of the equation by 2 pi. Now I can simplify the right side. The 2 pi's cancel each other out, leaving just the r. And since I cannot simplify the left side, I will just bring it down. So r, or the radius, equals c over 2 pi. Now let's level up our problem-solving capabilities. Here we have a table that describes a savings account. The i represents the interest earned on the savings account, or $75. P is the principal, or the balance in the account, which is $500. The r represents the rate, or the percent for the interest earned on the account, which is 5%. The t represents the amount of time in years, which in this case is what we need to solve for. Fortunately, there is a formula that we can use to solve for t. It is called the simple interest formula, and it looks like this. i, or interest, equals the p, or principal, times the rate multiplied to the time. So I'm going to rewrite this formula to solve for t. To isolate the t, I need to divide each side of the equation by pr. Now I can simplify the right side by canceling out the PRs, leaving just the T. And I'll bring down the fraction on the left. Now it's just a matter of substituting in the values for the variables from the table. On the left, the I equals 75. The P equals 500 times the R, that is 5%. But I need to write this percent in decimal form, or 0.05. Now I'll follow order of operations and start in the denominator to multiply 500 times 0.05 to get 25, and I'll bring down the rest of the equation. Then we divide 75 by 25 to get 3. So t equals 3, or it took 3 years to earn $75 in interest in the savings account. As you can see, rewriting literal equations to solve for a specific variable follows the same process that we use to solve for equations with just one variable. I hope this video was helpful. You can check out more videos on solving equations using the link above. 
Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep math awesome.